guys, this is Stand Up Yogi. Today I'm gonna talk about how to kickstart your pineal and your pituitary gland using the ancient technique of sun gazing rediscovered by Hira Ratan Manek in the 21st century. First of all, what is sun gazing? Why should I do it? How does it work? So, sun gazing is a technique where you actually look with your eyes open right into the morning or the evening sun at sunrise or sunset. Why sunrise sunset? Because at sunrise and sunset the UV ray level in the light is low so it really decreases the chance of damaging your eyes if you do it the proper way. Why should I do this you probably ask yourself. Well here is why. Sun gazing and I did it myself sometimes up to two hours because I combined it with some meditation. I'll talk about that topic later. It will boost your energy level big time. It will really give you an incredible boost of energy as you continue with the practice. You will have to sleep less. You will have to eat less. You'll just become way more healthy, way more happy. You can fight depression with it. That really works actually, like your mood increases. So it's so good, it's crazy. And you can heal and recover from CFS, chronic fatigue syndrome. Because I had mononucleosis and as I started doing sun gazing, this chronically being tired, that was just gone. It was, so there's a lot of good reasons to actually do sun gazing and practice it, but you gotta practice it the proper way. So how to do it the proper way? So the original version of sun, sun gazing goes like this. Step one, you stand barefoot on a natural surface, on natural ground, it can be anything, it can be soil, sand, you can stand in the field, in the grass, but you have to be barefoot and really stand on the natural ground because you will derive energies through your feet and in order to derive properly, you ju uh, probably you just gotta stand on the natural ground and you will feel that, you will feel the difference if you stand like, let's say on a, on a plastic bag or if you stand in the grass, the, the, like the difference is huge in the practice. Um, that is step one. Step two, if this is your first day of sun gazing, you start with 10 seconds doing it, not longer, 10 seconds. Day two is 20 seconds, day three, 30 seconds. So every day you add 10 seconds. Like that's how would, like, like that's the original um, way it's being taught. Every day you add 10 seconds until after several months, you are able to look right into the sun for about 45 minutes. Step three, so let's say this was your first day, you just looked into the sun for like 10 seconds. After you did that, you have to shadow your eyes completely and spectate the afterglow. Because you're gonna have an afterglow after you watch the sun, like, like a stain in your vision, like, right? Like a colorful stain, like yellow or red. Like, you know what I mean. If you look into light and you look somewhere else, you just have still like this, this color in front of your vision. And in order to make it go away, you really have to completely shadow your eyes and spectate the stain until it's gone. That can take sometimes from five, that can take five to 10 minutes or 15 minutes if you really had a long session. Make sure you do that because if you don't do that, you will have the stain in your vision for hours, sometimes up to days. <laughs> so really make sure you shadow your eyes and do your work. Step four, at the end, after doing all that, do some barefoot walking in nature. Why is that? Because you gotta discharge all, uh, the energy, because if you don't do that, you're like, especially if you had long sessions of sun gazing, you can like become like nervous and shaky because you're like overcharged. And in order to avoid that, you just have to walk barefoot, but what, what, what <laughs> walk barefoot to like ground yourself and um, just um, get calm again, okay? So that is important that you all, uh, that you do that. So that is the way sun gazing is being taught originally, okay? So here's variations I'm gonna show you now that I'm using that I actually took from the practice of sun meditation which is uh, which Stefan Strecker teaches 
or Abuna Semai. His uh, page is right here, you can click here if you want to learn the sun meditation. I think it's even more effective than sun gazing. And at the, on the same time, if you learn sun meditation, you also automatically learn sun gazing. So I took some of uh, his, like, like some parts of sun meditation and used them in sun gazing because I think they make the practice more effective and safer. So here's variation number one. Don't do the 10 seconds rule. Why? Because let's say it's day three now and you're supposed to look into the sun for 30 seconds. Okay. But after 50 sec 15 seconds, your body is telling you or your eyes say and you feel like, ah, okay, now it's good, now it's fine, it's enough. The sun is strong today, it's fine. Don't do the 30 seconds in that case. It's Of course, if your body says stop, then stop. Why follow a rule blindly if your body knows way better? So really take care that you listen to your body in that case and don't follow a rule blindly. And sometimes it can be, for example, that the other way around, that, for example, it's your fourth day and after 40 seconds you still feel like, oh, this is perfectly fine, I can still go on doing it, like, it's okay. Then you can go on doing it if you really feel like that, okay? So I wouldn't follow the 10 seconds rule, I would just follow my feeling. And variation number two is that you don't always have to look right into the sun. You don't always have to like focus right into the sun. You can also, if you want, like that's the way I do it, like look over the sun and like have a loose stare, okay? Like you're not really focusing anything into the picture, like here's the sun, but you're looking somewhere over it and you just let the sunlight fall into your eyes, okay? And you can do the same thing, you can also look under the sun okay you can also like do like this just don't really focus on anything just let the sunlight fall into your eye perfectly fine and then if you feel like after a while you can of course vary right you can like look right into the sun focus and then look over it again a little bit or under it, it just depends on how you feel like and as you continue doing the practice you will like develop a feeling on what what feels best to you what is the best how to do it okay and another thing which is really interesting is after six months of sun gazing and sun meditation I went to an eye doctor to have my eyes checked and um, it came out that I have an, an, a vision strength or what's the an eye vision what's the word for it I don't know like the strength of seeing uh, was 125 percent so that's still way above average so my ah, eyesight that's the word yeah my eyesight my eyesight is pretty good 125 percent on both eyes and no damage no nothing my eyes are really healthy so that's the proof for me that's the proof that if you do the 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 practice in the right way in the proper way you don't damage your eyes you just get the benefits if you really do the do it the right way, right? So listen to your feeling, don't exaggerate, start slowly, just really take care because it's still sunlight, it's still your eyes, you really have to be careful on what you're doing there. And there's actually studies um, that found out, I just got it right here, let's go to some science. A study by Dr. Turner and Dr. Mainster of the University of Kansas School of Medicine that was published in the British Journal of Ophthalmology in 2008 states that the human eyes contains photosensitive cells in its retina which are directly connected to the pituitary gland and these photoreceptors play a vital role in physiology and health. And another study found out when sunlight hits our eyes, our optic nerve sends electric impulses to the pineal gland which regulates our hormonal balance. And other studies recently found out that um, sunlight or exposing your eyes to sunlight, they're not actually talking about sun gazing, uh, sun, sun, gazing, sun gazing um, but they're talking about the effect of sunlight on the human eye in general that it can help with short-sightedness, okay? So there's really a lot of good reasons why you should give sun gazing a shot, a try and still be careful, okay? 
treat it with respect. It's the sun, it's your eyes. And if you have any questions about it, just let me know, send me a message, write a comment, and I'll answer. Peace. <laughs>